Today we're making one of my favorite enchilada recipes. It's topped with a creamy and cheesy sweet potato cheese sauce. Ooey, gooey, spicy, delicious, and made with La Morena chipotle pepper. Now, this video is made in partnership with La Morena, and I'm super excited because I've been using these La Morena chipotle peppers for so long. They are smoky and savory and just add so much dimension and flavor and deliciousness to whatever you're making. This is the sort of recipe that once you make it, you will never want to stop. So, I hope you enjoy the video. Here are our beautiful ingredients, including the La Morena Chipotle peppers, which you can find at your local grocery store. We're gonna start by sauteing our onions and garlic until they're nice and translucent. Now let's add the cumin and chili powder to toast and bring out all that nice aroma and flavor. Now we can add our corn and homemade pinto beans. Of course, you can use canned if you want. Now, since the pinto beans and corn give the whole filling some liquid, this is the perfect time to add our tomato paste and most importantly, our La Morena chipotle peppers. I'm gonna stir that up, making sure that the tomato paste is all dissolved and broken up, and also making sure that your chipotle pe peppers are you know, mixed throughout the entire filling. And add just a pinch of salt at this point. Now that this is all coming together, we can add our kale. We have a lot of kale, which is gonna cook down, of course, as it warms and heats, and just start stirring that kale in in batches until you've used all of it. While this is cooking, we'll make our cheesy enchilada sauce. You may have seen me make a similar sauce to this in my butternut squash mac and cheese video. So we are gonna be using a blend of arrowroot, soy milk, nutritional yeast, and different spices to get a delicious creamy enchilada sauce. The first thing we must do is blend our arrowroot powder, which is very similar to cornstarch. You can use that instead if you'd like. Blend that with a little bit of soy milk. And the reason we're doing that is just to get the clumps out of the arrowroot because that is gonna act as our thickener and we don't want any like weird clumps floating around. Wonderful. Now we can warm up our stove and add a little bit of oil. And now let's add our soy milk, your tomato paste. And using a whisk, just stir in and whisk in and combine your onion powder, garlic powder, turmeric, your nutritional yeast, and we can add in our arrowroot mixture that we made before. Great, now let's add a little bit of sea salt and finally some mustard and some vinegar and it should be nice and thick now as you can see. We're just gonna have to blend this up with a sweet potato and that's basically it. After all that time in the kitchen, it's time for me to take a bite. Mm. I tell you, I love these things so much. Mm. I don't want to stop eating it. Mm. Oh, they are so delicious. Now, you have to go and make these, and when you do, make sure you take a picture and post it on social media, everywhere, anywhere. I'm at Sweet Potato Soul, and tag me in those photos. I want to see all the beautiful creations you're making. These are so good. 
like the chipotle sauce is smoky and it's so rich and like gourmet are you subscribed to my channel yet if you haven't make sure you do that right now i can wait i'll take a bite while you go and do that mm. yeah thanks so much for watching guys i really hope you loved this video as much as i loved making it and as much as i'm about to love eating these enchiladas thanks again to la morena for partnering with me on this recipe i'll see you guys next time Bye. Mm.